Java attracted programmers with its friendly syntax, robust object-oriented capabilities, efficient memory management, and best of all, the promise of portability across different platforms. Right once, run anywhere slogan was created by Sun Microsystems. This means that Java program could be developed on any device compiled into standard bytecode and expected to run on different devices equipped with JVM. Because of this reason, Java is so popular. The installation of JVM on chips, devices or software packages becomes an industry standard. A programmer could develop a code on PC and expect it to run on Java enabled mobile phones, routers and mainframes equipped with Java without any adjustments. This was intended to save software developers effort of writing different versions of their software for each platform or operating systems they can intend it to deploy on. Create a source file. Run your source code document through source code compiler. Compiler checks for errors. If there are no errors, the compiler creates a new document coded into Java bytecode. Any device capable of running Java will be able to interpret or translate this bytecode document into something they can run. Compiled bytecode is platform independent. Type your Java source code, let's say hello world.java. Compile this hello world.java by running java c. It is a java compiler application. If you do not have any errors, you will get the hello world.class file. This is made up of bytecode. Humans cannot understand the bytecode. Run this program by starting java virtual machine. We can start jvm by typing this command java. We need to provide dot .class file. Here it is. Hello world. JVM translates the bytecode into something underlying platforms can understand and runs your program. When JVM starts running, it looks for class you gave in the command line. Then it starts looking for specially written method exactly looking like this. Public static void main string args and you can write your code here within these two curly braces. JVM runs everything in between these two curly braces. Every Java application has at least one class and at least one main method. Just one main method for entire application, not one main method for each class. In Java, everything goes in a class. Type your source code file with .java extension like myfirstapp.java. We can have main method and one print line statement. Let us break it down. Public class my first app. This line defines class named my first app. Here we are writing public means everyone can access this class from anywhere. This class keyword tells that this is a Java class. This is name of our Java class. Public static void main string args. This line defines main method which is the entry point of your program. Here, this public means this main method can be called from outside of your class and this static means the main method can be called without creating instance of our class. This method not returning anything so return type is void. System.out.println and we have string i rule. This line prints the text i rule to the console. Here. This system.out is a predefined class that provides access to standard output means console and this print is a method that prints a text. This closing brace ends the main method and this closing brace ends the java class. Let us run this file. Here I am using Eclipse IDE. We can run that file by clicking this run button. Now we got this output. I rule the world. We can run Java files with any text editor and run Java files using terminal or command prompt. Let us create one folder oop underscore java change directory to newly created folder 
let us write java program my first app dot java let me paste this code and let us save this file now compile this file using java compiler we can call java compiler by command java c we need to pass java file name my first app dot java there are no errors successfully compiled so this dot class file will be generated by compiler we can run newly created dot class file by jvm we can call jvm by command java we need to give dot class file name this is the output i rule the world like this we can create and run java files in terminal